Hey there, hello and welcome to iQuantas YouTube channel. Today I'll be discussing a very important topic which uh, people are always, you know, confused about. NRDI is the most difficult, most difficult apparently section of CAT. And this time it's, I don't know, it's going to be difficult or easy, but overall it's difficult only. And we have a statistical, statistical proof for that. So if I start this CAT 25 DILR, this video is majorly focused upon the mock attempting strategy because I'm sure that a lot of you are, everyone in fact who is watching this might be doing a lot of mocks. By this time you must have done 10 to 15 mocks possibly and you want to do 25, 30 more. So what needs to be done? Four important factors that you should look into a set while scanning. Scanning. So scanning is the act of, you know, looking at the paper, looking at the questions, the sets, and you would not, you know, you cannot afford wasting a lot of time over there. So in the first one to two minutes, you need to scan it. What has to be scanned? First thing, data representation, condition free questions, topic familiarity and language complexity. These are four parameters through which we can actually, you know, kind of scan and uh, can decide whether you have to attempt the question, the set or leave it. Data representation. Now, data representation is all about DI. This is not LR part, this is DI. So data can be represented in different forms, it can be pie chart, bar chart, line graph, column graphs, um, stack graphs, multiple things are there. So whatever is, you know, kind of uh, familiar to you or maybe what is, uh, whatever you are doing in your daily job or in the college, you should do that. Moreover, I have always seen that when data is represented in form of pie charts, it is pretty easy. When it is stacked, stacked, uh, stacked what is stacked? This is a column chart. And let's say in this column, there are multiple other sub columns that is a stacked uh, column graph. So this can be complicated. The sets, the representation data in which there are multiple kinds of representation. For example, let's say this is a column graph and every column graph has its own pie chart. Now, so much data, obviously we don't want to, don't want to do it. So you need to look at the uh, DI sets in which data representation is pretty simple. Coming to the second one. Condition free questions. Well, what does that mean? There are certain sets in LR, there are two types of set basically. One is that the whole thing is given to you, or the whole paragraph is given to you, and based on that, they'll be having four to five questions. Other is a paragraph, small paragraph is given, and every question in itself has new conditions. So, first question has some conditions, second has some other condition, third is, and all these conditions can be interdependent or maybe independent as well. Now, these kind of questions. Uh, I have talked to people, some people feel that I don't want to do this. Why to solve again and again new conditions? But but sometimes it's it's also easy. <clears throat> I'll tell you why. Because in LRDI set, let's say you do something wrong. There's high possibility that you'll get everything wrong. But in condition free questions, <laughs> condition conditional questions, the possibility that you might be able to solve one or two correct and other you might not, you will not do it. Even if you've done something wrong, that wrong thing will be kind of particular to one question, to one particular question. It won't be then across the entire set. Topic familiarity, this is something which is um, true for all the sections, be it VR, C, Quant, and LRDI as well. So topics that you have done more and more, those are familiar topics, you should be doing that first. Language complexity, so <clears throat> if LRDI somehow, it looks like an RC set. So if the language is complex, language is like there are certain words that have been used which you are not really aware of. And also, even if they use something like that, let's say they use TAT, there is turnaround time, they will be using, when you're using some kind of uh, technical jargon and they will be explaining it as well. But let's say there are five to six technical jargons and you have to read every, uh, all the explanations that will, you will spend a lot of time. So when the language is complex, it's ideal to leave that set for the uh, first attempt. Okay. Now, next is uh, we need to understand whatever we have discussed. LRDA sets are like RC as I said um, earlier as well. So here, the useful information can be limited. So there can be a lot of grammar, there are a lot of um, uh, case building, situation building, which is not relevant to the actual solution. So if you find something like that, don't attempt it. Okay. Coming to next one. So focus on sets with tables or diagrams. You can quickly grasp. Once you have created a table, now, if tables are there, it's good to go. If tables are not there, for example, case lids, in that case, 
basically all the LR sets, I'm talking about LR specifically, not, not DI, in LR sets, somehow you need to you know, note down data. And if you do it in terms of table, your life will be easier. So once you have created the table, you won't need to repeatedly refer to the set and this can save time and increase your chances of getting it right. So <clears throat> even if you, let's say, um, save five seconds in one question, that makes it 25 seconds. So we should, you know, be very careful for creating the correct table. All right. Now, condition free questions, select a set where you can attempt a maximum number of questions with minimal calculations. So again, it depends on you and tell me in the comments, what do you like? Would you like to go for conditional questions? Like every question has a new condition or you would not like to go for it. So it can be both ways. <clears throat> okay. Bruce Lee once said, um, I'm not scared of uh, someone who has practiced 1000 kicks. I'm scared of someone who has practiced one kick thousand times. So <laughs> something like that only. वो एक टाइप का सेट जिसकी तुमने 10,000 बार प्रैक्टिस की है। 10,000 इस अ मेटाफर हीर। सो आई डोंट वांट पीपल यू नो टू से ओ 350 दिन होते हैं साल में। हाउ कैन यू डू 10,000 वन सेट 10,000 टाइम्स? दैट्स अ मेटाफर। दैट्स जस्ट फॉर द प्रोवर्ब। बट देन इट मींस दैट अ पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ सेट which you have done a lot of times, it can be games and tournaments, it can be arrangements, distributions. Those are the sets you should do first. That is kind of commonsensical and obvious as well. All right. Let's see. The simpler the language, language complexity, the simpler the language, the better. Even if it's lengthy, there's a higher chance you will get it right. Because language is simple, so your mind would not be, would be dealing with only one thing. That is interpreting the set and then finding the solution. In this case, if the language is not simple, your mind will have to deal with three different things. One is calculation, other is making sense of it, and third is even trying to understand. And by the way, LRDA is second section. So first is VARC in which you have read a lot. So there is a high possibility that you won't like to read much. So you need to be aware of that. Start doing this in the mocks. By the time CAD is there, you would be thoroughly practiced. Now, past year, DILR score versus percentage trend. 2024, here we had the questions, the sets were increased. Like earlier we had four sets with four questions. Each. Here we had five sets overall. So two sets had ten, uh, five questions each and uh, three sets had four questions each, which made it 22 questions. Earlier we had only 20 questions. By the way, 99.99 or 99.5 percentile, I, I, this is not the right way to look at the past year trends, the right way is 99th percentile, top 1%. So in 24, 37 marks. By the way, every correct marks fetches you plus 3, every wrong answer deducts 1, plus 3 minus 1. So if I assume, let's say more or less, here someone would be doing like close to 12 questions, they would have got 99th percentile. Similarly, in 23, someone who would have done 20, uh, 28 marks, that means of 9, 9 to 10 questions, here it's uh, 10 to 11 questions, 11 questions. So overall you see that even if you attempt the 50% of LRDI section correctly, you will be in the top 1% of test takers in India. Isn't that insane? Wow. So people who are great in LRDI, who are great in puzzle solving, this is good news for them. And those who are not, this is, again, for them also, it's a good, good news because even if you solve, let's say, 40% of the paper, 40%, which makes it out of 20 questions, 8 questions, 22 questions, around 9 questions, then also you would have obtained 95th percentile. Here it is even less. So anything between 97, 96, 97 can be obtained if you solve 40% of the paper correctly. So that's a good news for you guys. All right, let's go ahead. So we have done, uh, we have kind of gamified the, the daily practice solutions. So we have, this is a dashboard, yesterday's test, today's test, tomorrow's test. You can just, you know, kind of uh, attempt the questions. In maths, there are five questions. In LRDI, there are five questions. VRs, there are five questions. And the time is limited. You just go there and this is a kind of competition which people across, participants across India are doing. So you also get the ranks. And apart from that, this is a gamified version of, uh, I would say, a very um, <clears throat> high-ended gamified version 
of test taking practices. So that will always keep you on the edge and uh, just five questions in each section. So it won't be taking much of the time, but it will prepare you under those that, you know, adrenaline rushing, dopamine <laughs> rushing kind of environment where your friends are competing against you. And the people who are doing it every day, just like Snapchat, you're getting streaks also. So let's say I did three, uh, I did uh, this practice for three sets continuously, three days continuously. It is. I have a streak of three. So to manage the streaks, all that is kind of highly um, <clears throat> encouraging. Now, CAT 25 crash course, the crash course is out and you can just go and uh, take admission. By the way, if you want to know more about the updates, when is crash course launching, what all things are happening there in the description, go there. There's a WhatsApp uh, group link. Just click there and join it. In the crash course, there'll be 24 seven doubt solving. By the way, this crash course is all about revisiting all the sections, all the concepts, all the subconcepts, all the relevant questions of CAT in a quick paced manner because we'll be having around two and a half months for that. In addition to it, we'll be 24 7 doubt, doubt solving, Quant, VARC, LRA, Mega Marathons, QA 250 series, there is a highly relevant series of Quant questions, genre wise RCs, rigorous practice, LRDA 70 initiative by Indra, the, co -fa the, the, the founder of the company, three workshops on QA, LRA and VARC each, CAT mocks, there will be 35 full length mocks and 45 sectional mocks, 15 in each section, VR, CLRA and Quant. Pre-recorded foundation advanced module in which will be, <coughs> you'll be, in the, in the pre-module is basically about the revision or uh, clearing, getting your fundamentals right. So in Quant, we have non-engineers Quant in which there are bite-sized videos of NCERT maths books from 6th to 10th standard. Similarly, we have different kind of basic courses and advanced module courses as well. If you do that, it's great. And if you're not able to do that, then also it's not a bad thing. The thing is, this revisiting and all these features are really good to go. So the last chance to start preparation in time, enroll now, go to the link and join the WhatsApp group. I'll see you in the classes. Thank you.